Welcome to Revival Word Ministries. I'm Pastor Tim Gibb, and I'm so glad to have you join me today for this special time of teaching in God's Word. Uh, today we're going to look at the Feast of First Fruits. We just celebrated just a couple weeks ago here the Resurrection, Resurrection Sunday, and Jesus was resurrected on the Feast of First Fruits. In Leviticus chapter 23, God gave the nation of Israel seven major holidays or holy days. They were appointed times set in the agricultural seasons of Israel. Four of them were in the springtime. Three were in the fall time or the early rain and the latter rain. And in the spring, Jesus came. You know, the prophet Hosea said in Hosea chapter 6 verses 1 to 3 that the coming of the Messiah will be in two parts. He will come to Israel like the rain, like the early rain and the latter rain. And in the spring rain, we have the feast of Passover, unleavened bread, first fruits, and then 50 days later, the feast of Pentecost. Well, Jesus entirely and perfectly completed and fulfilled these first spring feasts. He was crucified on Passover. He was buried in unleavened bread. And then Jesus rose from the dead on first fruits. 50 days later, sending his Holy Spirit on the day of Pentecost. We're right now at the end of the summer months, prophetically, and when Jesus comes again, he will perfect, perfectly and completely fulfill then the last three feasts, the fall feast, in his second coming. But today I want us to go, uh, I preached a conference in uh, the sports arena in downtown Kiev, Ukraine, to a large gathering, about 14,000 people, Translated in the Russian language where I taught on this feast of first fruits. It was a celebration of the very first harvest, the barley harvest. And the high priest would offer up first fruits to the Lord. He'd go into the temple and wave the first of the grain. Uh, he would give the first to get a blessing on the rest. And Jesus rose from the dead on the feast of first fruits. Let's go into this teaching now in Kiev, Ukraine, translated in the Russian language. All right. Now, Хорошо. first fruits Итак, was the beginning of the very first grain harvest. Итак, первый, uh, and the Israelites, Israelites were commanded, it's very important, they couldn't eat any of that grain. They couldn't have touched any of that grain until they first brought a first fruits offering to the Lord in the temple. First fruits. They were to bring the best and the first. The first and the best. Look what it says in Exodus 23, 19. Начатки плодов земли твоей принеси в дом Господа Бога твоего. Не вари козленка в молоке матери его. Can you see it? Видите? Uh, the winter is now past. What they sowed in the fall, осенью, now that spring has come, here's this beautiful grain. Вот, красивое, but they can't все, eat any of it. Вот, зерно, but they bring the best of it. They bring зерно, a first fruits offering. Плоды, they bring it to the temple. They bring it to the house of God. Дом, дом it was for an offering for supply for the priesthood and the priest would take it and you know what he would do with it? They would take a portion of it and they'd wave it before the Lord. Has anybody in worship ever waved before the Lord? Amen. Sometimes when you're singing Na 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 They'd wave it before the Lord. To say, Lord, we give thanks for this provision. We give it to you because they understood the principle what you give to God 
He blesses the rest. Он потом остаток благословляет. Now they were also to bring sacrifices. Они также должны были принести жертвоприношения. Again they were to bring a, a male lamb. Снова они должны были принести. They were bring a drink offering of wine. Агнца мужского рода. Они должны были испить чашу вина. The Jewish people don't do this today. Сегодня евреи этого не делают. Because they don't have a temple right now. Потому что сейчас у них нет храма. They haven't had a temple for 2,000 years. Две тысячи лет у них не было храма. And we know why. И мы знаем почему. Because Jesus has fulfilled all this. We don't have to do this anymore. But we still worship the Lord. But they were forbidden to use any part of the harvest until after they brought it to the Lord. If they ate any of it, it was considered robbery. Wow. wow. Let's read what it says in Malachi chapter 3. Notice, God says, you've robbed me. If they did not bring in the first fruit, grain offering, it was considered robbery. Now God says through Malachi, if you do not bring in the tithes and the offerings, what is the tithe? It's a portion of your income. 10%. 10%. And you give it to the Lord first. You know, a lot of believers make a mistake. They pay all their bills. And they give God what's left over. And many times not very much is left over. If anything at all. You're not going to get the blessing that way. You've got to come in faith. And you give to God the first. The first, before anything else, you give it the first. And the Israelites understood to not do that was like robbery. And God says, you're cursed with a curse. Now let's read verse 10. Что была еда в моем доме, и испытайте меня теперь, говорит Господь Саваоф. Не открою ли я окон небесных, не залью на вас благословение, что не будет места достаточного, чтобы принять это благословение. Давайте. И я запрещу пожирающему забрать у тебя все. Я запрещу разрушать плоды твоей земли. И он говорит, что никакой виноградник у тебя не будет гнить. Говорит Господь Саваоф, и все народы будут называть тебя благословенной, ибо ты будешь в земле плодовитой, говорит Господь Саваоф. Wow. Кто из вас знает эти стихи, да? Они знакомы it. нам всем. God says when you bring it in, I will open the windows of heaven. Now in Proverbs, chapter 3, verses 9 and 10, it says this, Honor the Lord with your possessions, and what? The first fruits. Everybody say first fruits. The first fruits of all your increase. Why? Why should I do that? Look what it says. So your barns will be filled with plenty. Yeah. And, your, and your vats will overflow with new wine. Here is the first fruits principle. When you give God the first, He blesses the rest. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I'm telling you, you will do so much better with 90% and give God the first 10% than to keep 100%. Now, the Bible says you have to trust the Lord and lean on your own understanding. You say, I think 100% is better. 
Not if it's not blessed. Нет, если это не благословенные десять процентов. A hundred percent. Сто процентов. Not blessed. Не благословенные. Is not going to be very good. Если они не благословенны, тогда добра не принесут. But if you give God the first. Но если ты Богу отдаешь первое. He blesses the rest. Он благословляет остальное. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. It's a first fruits offering. Это первые плоды, это жертвоприношение первых плодов. On this day, и в этот день, the people would bring sacrifices. Люди приносили жертвы. But they bring the first of the harvest. Но они приносили именно вот первый урожай. Before they had any bread. До того, как они кушают хлеб, до того, как они кушают, может быть, хлопья с утра, они приносили к Дому Божьему для священников. И священник брал и вот так махал пред Богом, веруя в благословение Божье. Аллилуйя! I believe when we worship God and we wave to the Lord we're saying, Lord, here I am. I'm giving you the best praise. I'm giving you my praise. And the blessing is coming on you. Hallelujah. Amen? All right. Just a little bit more. Now, Remember the Jews when they left Egypt on Passover night. Remember Passover? The 14th. Unleavened bread. The 15th. First fruits. The 16th. Да? Да? Remember they had to on Passover. They had to have the shoes on their feet. Нужно было, чтобы у них была обувь на ногах. Staff in their hand. Посох в руках. They had to have their coats on. Они должны были надеть на себя одежды. So they're eating lamb. И они кушали адуса. With their shoes on. Уже одеты. And their coats on. В одежде. Because as soon as there was the sound. Потому что когда они должны были услышать звук трубы. Let's go. Пошли. Here they had to go. А им нужно было встать и пойти. What happened? Что случилось? They traveled two days. Они два дня путешествовали. And they got to where? И куда они пришли? The Red Sea. К Черному морю. Да? Да? What happened at the Red Sea? А что там случилось? Uh oh. Uh oh. We have a sea in front of us. Перед нами море. Pharaoh changes his mind, and the Egyptians are coming. And Moses says, "Lord, we're trapped. What are we going to do?" And God says, "Take that rod and strike the ground." What happened? The Red Sea opened. The children of Israel. They marched on through. When the Egyptians fell behind, the sea closed on them. What day? What day? Did the Israelites cross the Red Sea? First fruits. First fruits. They had Passover. Two days journey. And they crossed the Red Sea. It was like a resurrection. The Israelites crossed the Red Sea on first fruits. Now what else happened on first fruits? Jesus rose from the dead. On first fruits. Именно в день первых снопов. Аллилуйя. Let's read First Corinthians. Давайте прочитаем первое Коринфянам. Let's read it. Пятнадцатая глава. Но Христос воскрес из мертвых, первенец из умерших. Now a second. It says Christ has risen from the dead. Здесь написано Христос воскрес из мертвых. And became what? И он кем стал? First fruits. Первыми плодами. Jesus is the first fruit offering. Иисус является первым плодом. The first raised from the dead. Первый, кто воскрес из мертвых. Now read it. Читаем дальше. Ибо как смерть через человека, так через человека и воскресение мертвых. Как в Адаме все умирают, так во Христе все оживут. Каждый в своем порядке. Первенец Христос, потом Христовы в пришествии Его. Jesus is the first fruit offering from the dead. That grain was planted in the ground all winter. Зерно, которое было посеяно в землю, всю зиму там лежало, и потом произрастли раски. 
и в день первых плодов они дают Богу это. Иисус был погребен в земле, но Он воскрес в день первых снопов. Он первенец из умерших. Вау! The firstborn from the dead. Let's read about it. Давайте прочитаем дальше. Revelation chapter one. Откровение первая глава. Иоанн семи церквам, находящимся в Асии, благодать вам и мир от того, который есть и был и грядет, и от семи духов, находящихся пред престолом Его. И это Иисуса Христа, который есть свидетель верный, первенец из мертвых и владыка царей земных, и соделавшего нас с царями и священниками, Богу и Отцу Своему слава и держава в веки веков. Аминь. Аминь. Смотри, что написано. Иисус, первенец из мертвых. Я я вот первородный в своей семье. Я был первый у мамы и папы. Но из мертвых я не был первенцем. Кто из вас слышал о смерти? Что смерть может рождать. Но Иисус Он был в гробнице. Он был в чреве смерти. And he came forth. И он появился. The firstborn from the dead. Первенец из мертвых. Now others in the past. Итак, другие в прошлом. Like Lazarus. Как Лазарь. Had been dead. Был мертвый. And came back to life. И ожил. But they died again. Но снова умер. Jesus. Иисус. He died. Он умер. But he rose again. Но снова воскрес. Never to die again. Чтобы снова никогда не умирать. Да? Да? Now look what Jesus says. Смотри, что сказал Иисус. Look at John chapter eleven. Смотрите, Иоанна одиннадцатая глава. Amen. Хорошо. Bible says Jesus said to her. Здесь написано, Иисус сказал ей. I am the resurrection and the life. Я воскресение и жизнь. He who believes in me. Не смотрите на экране, я просто буду переводить дословно. Does anybody believe in Jesus? Кто верит в меня? Кто из вас верит в Иисуса? Кто верит в Иисуса? Whoever believes in me. Всякий, кто верит в меня. Though he may die, несмотря на то, что может умереть, yet shall he live. Все же будет жить. And whoever lives, кто живет, and believes in me, и верит в меня, shall что с ним произойдет? Never die. Никогда он не умрет. Wow. Wow. And then Jesus said, Иисус говорил. Do you believe this? Веришь ли ты в это? Can I ask you today? Можно я спрошу тебя сегодня? Do you believe this? Веришь ли ты в это? See, this body may die. Видите, это тело может умереть. But this spirit's going to live forever. Но дух мой будет жить вечно. I'm telling you, you have now. Я вам говорю сейчас. Eternal life. Вы имеете вечную жизнь. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. See, I want to put this picture up as I end. Я хочу показать вам в завершении фотографии. This is what's believed to be the tomb where Jesus rose from the dead. Do you know that this, the resurrection of Jesus Christ, is of the greatest importance? Paul said this. If Jesus hasn't risen from the dead, our preaching is in vain. Our faith is futile. We are false witnesses. We are still in our sins. We are still in our sins. And we have no hope of everlasting life. But Paul goes on to say, But Christ is risen from the dead. And he has become the first, the first of those who have died. See, the Bible tells us in 1 Thessalonians chapter 4, that the Lord shall descend from heaven with a shout, with the trump of God and the voice of the archangel and the dead in Christ shall rise and we who are alive and remain shall be caught up to meet the Lord in the air. Hallelujah! Why? Зачем? Почему? Потому что Иисус был первым. 
He's the first. Now let me just give you one more thing before we finish. Remember the high priest. He'd be overseeing the sacrifices on Passover from 9 in the morning till 3 in the afternoon. The priest was not allowed to be seated. He had to stand the whole time for those six hours. Jesus was on the cross for six hours from 9 in the morning until 3 in the afternoon. At three in the afternoon, the high priest would blow the shofar, blow the trumpet, and he would say, it is finished. Jesus, at three o'clock, he declared, it is finished. Now when the high priest said, it is finished, you know what he did? He would go into hiding. No one was to see him. No one was to touch him. In the temple, when the high priest sacrificed that last Passover lamb at 3 o'clock, he would disappear. He would hide. No one was to see him. No one was to touch him. Until the first fruits offering. Until three days later, when the people brought the first fruit offering, the high priest would emerge. He would take that grain and he'd wave it before the Lord. How many are seeing something? Jesus said it is finished. He was buried. He was hidden. When he rose from the dead, how many know the women saw him? Mary saw him. And what did Jesus say? Don't touch me. I've not yet gone to the Father. And Jesus went to the Father. And he waved his hand before the Lord, before the Father. As the high priest. And as the sacrifice. And he said, I am the first. I am the best. I am the firstborn from the dead. And because I live. All of you shall live. The blessing has come upon all of you and me because Jesus was the first. We have eternal life because Jesus was that first fruit offering to the Lord. Hallelujah. Come on, stand with me this afternoon. Come on, hallelujah. hallelujah. Why don't you wave your hands before Давайте the Lord вот так, and say, thank you, Lord. I give you a wave offering. I give you a wave offering of gratitude, of thanksgiving, of praise. Come on, give him your best praise right now. Come on, shout unto God. We give you our best praise, Lord. Hallelujah. 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 But I want to pray right now. Я хочу помолиться за вас сейчас. Father, отец, I thank you. Спасибо тебе. Jesus is our Passover lamb. пасхальный агнец. Because of Jesus shed blood. Из-за пролитой крови Иисуса. We have the forgiveness of sins. Мы имеем прощение грехов. I pray, Lord, today that you would keep us pure, keep us humble. Lord, I pray right now we'll search our hearts. I pray for every person here right now they would search their heart. Shine your light on our hearts. We search our hearts. Lord, if there's any sin, if there's any sin, если есть что-то, что неправильно, если есть что-то, что уже забродило, может быть гордость в нашем сердце, непрощение. Lord, where there's anything that's Господи, false если есть что-то, like что есть лживо, не подобно Тебе, мы просим, Боже, удали это из наших жизней. 
cleanse us. Очисти нас. We confess it before Мы you. Мы исповедуемся пред тобой. We thank you, Lord. Мы благодарим тебя, Господи. That you are faithful. Что ты верный. To cleanse us. Чтобы очистить нас. Of all yeast. От всякой закваски. Of all leaven. От всякой всяких дрожжей. Всего всякого греха. Всякой гордости. Очисти наши сердца. I pray, Lord, today, Я молюсь, Боже, сегодня, we'll remember, чтобы мы всегда помнили воздавать Тебе первое. Люби Господа Бога Твоего heart, всем сердцем Твоим, soul, всей душой, mind, всем разумением, strength, всей силой Твоей. Lord, Господи, first, когда мы отдаем Тебе первое, best, когда мы отдаем Тебе лучше, Ты благословляешь остальное. Today, И мы сегодня благословлены Because Jesus Christ, Потому что Иисус Христос, God's only son, единственный Сын Бога, best son, Его лучший Сын, gave his best, отдал Свое лучшее, gave his life, отдал Свою жизнь, and the blessing и благословение is on us today. на нас сегодня. Аллилуйя! Аллилуйя! Прославь Господа! Пускай вас Бог благословит! Praise God. Amen. Jesus is alive. I want to thank you for watching this broadcast today. And I just want to encourage you. You know, Jesus rose on first fruits. He was the first fruit offering to the Lord. And in Scripture, there's the principle of the first. When you give God the first, He blesses the rest. Amen. Do you know why we're under a blessing? Is because Jesus was that first fruit offering. The Bible says he's the firstborn among the dead. He is the firstborn among many brethren. We are sons of God, children of God. Amen. Because Jesus, hallelujah, became that first fruits. And because Jesus gave his best, the blessing has come on us. Amen. And you want to walk in God's blessing in every area of your life? You know, Jesus said, seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness And everything you need will be added unto you. Jesus said, we're to love the Lord our God with all our heart, all our soul, all our mind, and our strength. And so, friends, here is the key to successful Christian life and living. Here's the key to have the blessing of God on your life. Amen. Give your heart first to the Lord. Love the Lord with all your heart, all your soul, all your mind, all your strength. Seek first His kingdom. And everything that you need is going to be added unto you. If you're watching this today and you know your heart's not right with God, we have no guarantee of tomorrow. I pray today that you would make your heart and life right with Jesus Christ. Just simply pray, Lord Jesus, I believe you are Lord. I believe you are the Son of God. I believe you've risen from the dead. And I ask you to forgive my sin, to cleanse me, to receive me, And then say, I accept your free gift of salvation. And I thank you that by my confession, my name is written in God's book of life. Hallelujah. I am accepted in God. I'm a part of the kingdom of God. Friends, if you accepted the Lord into your life today, you just want to know more about our ministry, go to revivalword.com and it'll be a blessing to get to connect with you. And so we'll look for you on our next broadcast at Revival Word. God bless you today.